Good morning, guys. It is the weekend. It is Saturday. It is the first Saturday in February. And I just learned this the other day. Apparently, every year, the first Saturday in February is National Eat Ice Cream for Breakfast Day. I did not eat ice cream for breakfast today. I'm sure Gray would have loved to do that if we did, but I decided not to. Such a funny diff holiday. I've never heard of that before. But apparently it's every February, the first Saturday. So we are just hanging out. I'm here with Grayson. Porter is taking a nap. Grayson is half naked. We are still potty training. I'm filming this video because I wanted to give you guys a update as to how things are going. We are six days into potty training now, almost a whole week. And how are things going, Gray? Gray, are you going pee pee in the potty? I'm like trying to hide him. Are you going pee pee in the potty, Gray? He loves playing with the recliner and reclining it. He is doing awesome, you guys. So I would say about day four was when it kind of clicked for him. And basically how we are now is every time he needs to pee in the potty, well, he hasn't ever told me like I need to pee in the potty yet, but I just put him on there every so often. And whenever he, it's like he holds it until I put him on the potty and it's the right time. And then he just goes and he pees in the potty and he stares at me really creepily while he goes potty, which is hilarious. But we have not had an accident in maybe two days now. I did give him a bath the other day and he did pee and poop in the bathtub. Not one of his finer moments, so that wasn't good. But he has not peed on the floor since day three, I think, and we're on day six. So it's going awesome. I am so proud of him, so happy with his results. Um, I have been doing a cookie and two stickers every time he goes in the potty and he gets very excited about that. I also make a huge deal out of it every time he pees in the potty and he loves it. He does spins like he gets so excited when I'm praising him. Here are all of the stickers that he's been doing. Two of those are from me, just like showing him what to do when we first started. But I give him two stickers every time and he loves putting them on the pieces of paper. I have this little step stool that he can use to get on and off the potty because it's kind of hard, but he kind of just prefers me to put him on. This is a little um, toilet insert that I got from Amazon. You just stick it on and it fits on any potty and he really likes that and then we also have this little potty when I potty trained him the first time he would only use the little potty he would not go on the big potty it was like too big for him too scary now he really doesn't use the little potty he only uses the big potty which is honestly I prefer the big potty so you're gonna go pee pee so yeah he just sits on the potty and goes Obviously he doesn't have to right now, but anyways, it's less cleaning up because if he goes in the no big potty, pee -pee. no pee pee, we'll try again. If he goes in the big potty, then we just flush it, push but and it goes away. Push what? Push it's a light switch. Push it's a light switch. Has to ask what everything is. Push it's a light switch. Push it's a light switch. <laughs> You can turn it off. Anyway, like I was saying, he, I like, I prefer him going in the big potty because we just flush it. If he goes in the little potty, then I have to clean it out and it's gross. So it's been awesome. He has only pooped once in the big potty though. All the other times he's either pooped in the bathtub or he just poops like when I put his diaper on at nap time or at bedtime. Um, I've read that that's very normal, just like some kids really don't like pooping in the toilet and so they wait until they put the diaper on. I'm not comfortable in putting him in underwear for bedtime and nap time because he still wakes up with like super wet diapers and so I'm not about to change the bed sheets every day, every time he goes to bed. So we'll work up to that, but right now they say, online they say, that there's three stages to potty training. I peed, I'm peeing, and I have to pee. So I peed is the beginning of 
he pees on the floor and he's like, oh my gosh, I peed and like didn't even realize what was going on. I'm peeing is what we're in right now. I put him on the potty and he pees. So what we need to work ourselves up to is I have to pee. Is him realizing the signs that he needs to pee, telling me, and then we go on the potty. So that's what we're working towards, but I'm so proud of him. He's doing so well. Um, this is going way better than last time. Watch my previous vlogs if you wanna see how much of a fail it was. It just goes to show, really, I mean, I guess some kids are ready for potty training um, at two and a half or earlier, but really you should wait closer to three years old because Grayson's like two months away from being three. And this is like, he's getting it now. And he didn't get it back in the summer a half a year ago. So, <laughs> um, yeah, just don't rush your kids, I guess, is the motto. But yes, we're doing so good. I'm so happy about it. Also, we're kind of doing away with the high chair with Grayson. Um, I like to have him on these stools in the kitchen just because he sits here and then the bathroom's right here just in case he has to pee really fast. And in the high chair, he's like confined and it's all the way over in the dining room. So we're kind of over the high chair with him. I think I'm just gonna keep him on the stools. It's way easier to clean up plates than the whole tray every time. Um, and Porter's gonna start using the high chair. He's so close to being ready for it. So I guess it's time. Um, it just kind of happened, I guess. But it's a good change. It's all good changes. I mean, way less diapers for us to use for Grayson and now just, just Porter really using a lot of diapers. We do use two diapers for Gray every day, one for nap and one for bed. But other than that, we're doing potty training. So it's going really, really well. Um, I'll keep you guys updated as we go. Um, we're planning on hanging out with my sister today, so I'm hoping to get some vlog of that. Um, her dog, Dakota, is turning one in a few days, and she's having a birthday party next weekend for it. And so we were gonna like get some supplies and stuff, so maybe I'll record a little bit of it. But I hope you're having an awesome day. I hope it's not too snowy where you guys are. We keep getting more and more snow. I swear it never ends and it's never going to melt. Let's see if it'll focus, yeah. It's just a winter wonderland. As you can see, that is Grayson's um, lawnmower and it's like totally submerged. <laughs> it is sunny, so snow melts here and there, but it's still super cold. I guess we're supposed to like get a polar index or whatever, super cold weather. So that should be fun, but it doesn't really matter to us because we're not going anywhere because we're potty training. So again, winter really seems the best time to potty train. Summer, it's just too tempting to want to go out and go to the parks and do stuff. So again, I highly recommend doing it in the winter if you can. Out, out playing in the snow. What do you think, Gray? Allison and Dakota have matching coats. Your hat even looks matching too. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> It's almost Dakota's birthday. What do you think, Gray? And I got, and I got Porter here. <laughs> He's just enjoying it. It feels good in the sun. What are you eating, Dakota? No. Hi, Dakota. Oh, she's so excited. Woohoo! <laughs> That's so funny. And also, what kind of dog is Dakota? She is a golden mountain doodle. She's done growing? Yeah, I, well, just about. They say they don't technically stop till they hit two, but I think this is a bad size. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. She's big enough. <laughs> she's just past 50 pounds now. Really?
husband's our professional photographer. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Dakota. Update on potty training. Gray woke up from his nap and was dry, although he did poop. But I put him on the potty and he peed in the potty. Now we have underwear on him for the first time, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, Can you do it, Gray? Like a snow angel. Go like this. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> snow angel? Yay! Good job. He's just eating the snow. <laughs> 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 yeah, <I don't> <laughs> yeah, she is definitely. Snow fight? Snow fight, like, pick up some snow. Snow fight, One, two, came inside from the snow. Porter was getting done with it. He was getting kind of cold. So we came inside. Grayson and Allison are still out there with Dakota. And as soon as I sit down and play with Porter, Felix comes and sits on my lap. He's like, yes, that dog is gone. Well, do you know, Felix, she's coming right back. He hates it when all the dogs come over because he does not like other animals. He's mean. But we're just playing. Anthony's parents got Grayson this little cube. It's a Melissa and Doug, and it makes little noises, and it's got crinkles, and... He seems to like it. He seems to like being on his belly now. He used to hate tummy time. Now he likes it because I think he wants to try to crawl. He can scoot backwards, but he can't quite get the crawling motion yet. But he usually just like balances on his belly and then picks up his arms and his legs and just like tries to move them all in the air. He doesn't really get anywhere with that, but he loves his play gym. He loves this little toy and it's got rings that he likes to tease on. But we're just playing in the play gym, huh? Oh, he's starting to get over it. You like that toy, huh? Gray is having so much fun out in the snow. I think they went on a walk. He loves walking all the dogs. 